Hello and good morning. Oh, that's too bright. So today I am in an old Polish village museum in Toskarnia. 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 Yeah. Um, and they have here collections of old Polish houses. So today is my last day in Poland, my last day in Europe, and I'm spending it around this museum learning about the old Polish villages. So come with me. And it's very hot by Polish standards, but for me it's just normal. <laughs> this is the Kielce Countryside Museum and you have to pay 5 euro to get inside. This is an open air museum and it has a lot of sections. It's very easy to navigate around the museum, but if you don't have a lot of time, you can also take the map from the entrance, so it would be easier for you to know where to go. So each of our houses has this information posted outside. Uh, they don't really have the English versions of like the descriptions of like the name of the village and things like that, but they have this and you can just basically um, scan the QR code and you'll be able to a website where you can learn more about this specific house. And this is very nice as well. This is very inclusive because they have this in braille. So, so this is for people with like um, vision problems or blind, then they can read this still. So that's a nice touch actually. So this is an old pharmacy and you can see the bottles of the medicines on the shelves. This is old prescriptions from the doctor and this is how it looks outside. And this is a church made of wood and this is still being used up to this day there was even a couple who was going to have a wedding on the day that i was visiting this area so this is very nice it's a bit small but it can still accommodate a couple of people inside and this is the ceiling of that church I believe this machine and all other machines in this building was used in the process of milling wheat, which is somehow similar to the corn mills that we have in the Philippines.
this is the wheat mill from the outside. They also have cows, sheep, chickens, and goats here. I even saw a cat. This is an old church made of wood. Pretty nice. <laughs> so these are original houses, but they were transferred. scale bottles this is a grocery store mm, coffee mm. this is a typical old polish cottage in the countryside it is like a studio apartment with bad dining room and kitchen in one place This is an old grocery store. And this is an old photo studio, so you can see the camera in the background. So this was in the same house as the photo studio. So it was normal for people in the past to have a business and an apartment in the same building or same area. And this is where they would get water before. They did not have faucet in their apartments or houses. So they would have to manually get water from the water well using like bad power or horses. So this open air museum is really big. We spent probably three hours to see every houses and every buildings. You can get inside in all of the buildings or houses unless they are being renovated. And this shows a traditional Polish wedding. So there's your bride and your groom and the food that they usually serve during weddings during the olden times. I know that this is a museum, but in general, Polish villages, like basically most of the places that I went to in Poland, it's not city center, like not Warsaw, not Krakow, um, it's like this, quiet and clean. So every time somebody will ask me, especially somebody from Poland, so what do you think about Poland? So I'd always say it's clean and it's quiet, and that's really true based on my experience.
Look at this windmill. That's huge. Ah, this one has English. So yeah, this is good. This cottage is from 1758. Wow. It is the oldest object erected in our open air museum. That's very old. So again, these are original cottages, but these were transferred to this museum. Okay. And this is the museum's resident cat. He's not very friendly though. I didn't get to film everything that I saw in this museum, but this is definitely worth it, especially if you're interested in Polish culture, traditions, and their way of life in the olden times. So this is a must visit. And that's it. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. Bye!